Hello there again, everybody. Boyd back with you. Well, as the title suggests, I just wanted to make a quick little video today to uh, kind of talk about some questions and comments that have been coming in lately on the channel from the viewers out there. Is the Trekworks channel still the Trekworks channel? You know, as the title has said from the very beginning, I started this channel 11 years ago, I think, or maybe going on 12 years, I think coming in October. Uh, when I first started doing a lot of my videos on the channel here, a lot of the uh, modeling that I was doing was basically Star Trek or, you know, other science fiction type uh, subjects and things like that. And of course, Star Trek, as you guys know, is a huge thing that I'm very passionate about. I'm very interested in it. And uh, so the questions have kind of come in, you know, Boyd, lately you've not really shown a lot of Star Trek content. Um, you're moving more towards 3D printing and and uh, now you're doing these um, uh subscription type builds with the Millennium Falcon and the DeLorean that I just announced. And I just wanted to make a video today to kind of reassure everybody that that's not really going to be the case. Um, uh, the channel has evolved over the years. Uh, one of the things that I want to point out is that you guys have seen me build tons and tons and tons of uh, enterprise models here on the channel. All the, uh, uh, you know, the step-by-step -step build guides that I've done on the TOS Enterprise. We're currently working on uh on one for the Enterprise Refit, and I've uh, been shooting videos for that. You're gonna see a whole new batch of those coming out. I'm getting back to that. Um, gotta kinda keep in mind, guys, too, that you know I'm doing this for a living now. I, I retired from my full-time job a couple of years ago. I still do occasional work doing what I used to do, but mainly for income, I'm relying on uh, doing these commission models, and uh, I've, uh, you know, been doing pretty pretty good at that. I'm just one guy here, so there's only so many of those I can do per year. But just recently, I've uh, kind of slowed down on that because I, I basically wanted to get back to doing more kind of um, organic type builds here on the channel where I just grab something off the shelf and start working on it, kind of the way the channel started out. And it's true that a lot of that, you know, or, or not all of it has been Star Trek related and things like that. So but we're going to be coming back with the Enterprise Refit build. As I mentioned at the top of that when I started it, that um, it was going to be a, a lengthy process on that. I was going to be in absolutely no hurry on it. I kind of made that comment at the very beginning, hoping that people would understand that. Um, for me, working on a, you know, a refit like that is uh, something that I kind of have to get in the mood for. You have to be in the mindset to want to sit down and do all that you know, um, time-consuming Aztec paint work that to me that's the real main issue that uh, you have to deal with on that model the wiring the putty work the painting everything is is basically typical on any other model so that part of it doesn't really bother me too much but whenever I want to sit down and do hours and hours and hours of Azteking and and all that detail work I really have to kind of put myself in the right mindset for that and you don't want to be working on things like that unless you're in that kind of a mood because you won't do as good of a job as you normally would so uh, that's kind of been the reason that that was kind of set off to the side for a while. Also, going back to the issue of the commission builds, you know, those uh, being that they're my only income, those kind of take priority sometimes over what I would like to do in the shop. And so I just wanted to kind of lay that out for you guys here a little bit today. And I definitely appreciate the uh, comments and questions. Um, there were some kind of really negative comments in there. I think one that I thought was kind of over the top a little bit was that you know, 3D printing is trash or something like that. And um, I strongly disagree with that. I think that 3D printing is just, you know, it's another tool in the modeler's arsenal. That's the way I look at it. Um, to me, printing off some parts on a printer and then building a model out of it is no different than any other kind of modeling. When you're buying a, you know, a, a package styrene kit, those are just parts that you're putting together. They were produced in a different way, but, or if you buy an old garage resin kit, um, um, you're still de dealing with parts that you've got to clean up and, you know, do all the prep work and paint and assemble and all that. So really building models out of 3D printed parts is no different than anything else. And I've just been really drawn to the 3D printing because number one, I'm kind of a technical kind of person. I really enjoy that kind of thing. So to me, it was about going out there and learning that whole process and then um, uh, being able to do it, but also the fact that there's just so many subjects out there in the 3D printing world that aren't available anywhere else. I mean, some of the models that you guys have seen me print here in the last couple of months, you can't buy those as a production kit. 
Um, so, you know, it's, it's stuff that I personally really enjoy and I'm interested in. So there's no way I'm not going to, you know, get a hold of that and start building it. But I just want to let you guys know that there's, I'm going to do my best to maintain a good balance of, uh, that and, um, these subscription builds that I'm working on. And then also regular model building, because I know it is a fact that if you don't have a 3d printer, you can't build some of the things that I'm showing you on the channel here. And I, I get the frustration about that, but, uh, so we'll be building plenty of, uh, you know, other regular production scale models here, plastic production kits from all the main companies. Again, back to the enterprise refit. I've got a couple of other star Trek kits that I want to work on. Um, but I've got a lot of, you know, varied interest in modeling. You guys, those of you that have followed my channel for a while will definitely know that I build cars. I build figures. Um, you know, I like to do dioramas, uh, armor, uh, you name it. I'm, you know, airplanes, I'm interested in everything. And, um, so I'm not going to limit myself to just Star Trek stuff. And you got to keep in mind from my perspective, how many enterprise models do I personally want to build? I have basically all the models that I'm personally interested in already in my collection. And, you know, I'm not going to just show you client build models because you've seen those already. The process I go through with building a TOS Enterprise, I've well documented here uh, at the end of this refit video series. You'll pretty much know my whole methods for doing that with some kind of updated stuff. So just kind of keep that in mind, you know, and I've never asked anybody out there in my audience to uh, donate money or anything like that. You know, the Patreon thing or, you know, that seems to be really popular around YouTube these days. My channel is monetized. I did monetize it, I think, um, starting two years ago. <clears throat> so I get a little bit of money from that based on the views that I get, you know, per month. Believe me, it's not a whole lot at all. You definitely couldn't live on it by that alone. So, um, but I am slowing down on the commission building thing and, uh, to get back to kind of the roots of, like I talked about of being building models here in the shop kind of organically and just having a lot of fun. But keep in mind, you know, I really appreciate when you support the channel. I definitely see that my view counts are down quite a bit when it's not a Star Trek subject and all that. And I got to say, you know, it's a little disappointing because, you know, I feel like people that subscribe to your channel, they'll, they'll, they'll want to watch what you're putting out and all that. But I'm not going to put blame on anybody or anything like that. I'm perfectly content uh, where I'm at and uh, I'm really happy with how our thing's going. And um, I'm learning, you know, ways to make other income based on things that I do in the hobby and things like that. So it's not a really big deal, but I just hope you guys will keep in mind that, uh, you know, some of the videos I put out that aren't Star Trek related, there's some still some interesting modeling content there and some tips and tricks that I'm showing that apply to any kind of model building that hopefully will help you guys out out there. So I appreciate if you at least, you know, give the videos a chance or whatever and and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and all that. It, it, it helps my cause here, helps me kind of keep the lights on. It helps me buy model kits that I might not necessarily want to build myself, but I'll build those and show them to you guys because I know there's people out there that want to see those and see different ways that you can, you know, go about uh, putting those together. And then also I want to mention here towards the end, I'm going to do a better job going forward about giving shout outs to other modelers. You know, I'm, I'm very appreciative and supportive of the model community. I've ran forums in the past. I'd like to give credit where credit is due. There's a lot of really, really good um, uh, content creators out there in the modeling world. I'm going to start uh, making it a habit here to every other video or so, you know, make a couple of shout outs to people out there. There's some really great uh, modeling channels that I personally subscribe to that uh, I really like the work they do. And I really like the approach that they take on how they explain everything and just people out there doing a really, really good job. So kind of look for that here going forward too on the channel. So that's just about it, you guys. I appreciate you listening to me. Appreciate you tuning in. Um, we got a lot of exciting stuff going on around the channel coming up. So hope you'll tune in and check it out. Until we see you next time, everybody, like we say all the time, take care out there and happy modeling, everyone.